Hello developers, welcome back. So far in the Laravel 45 series, we have implemented user login and registration feature, reset passwords, update user profile information, and update user password. In case if you have not watched the previous videos on Laravel 45, I strongly recommend you to watch that also. I will put the link of these in the video description. Now, Today in this lesson we will implement user email verification. Before moving ahead a quick reminder if you are new to this channel hit the red subscribe button press bell icon so when I upload new videos you get notified. Now let's start. So let's uncomment this feature email verification. Now if we go to the terminal and run php artisan route list and you will see that it has added a three more these routes post request to email verification notification get request to email verify and get request to email verify id hash we will see these in a moment first let's configure the user model so we will navigate to app models user model and in this model we will implement must verify email this one in the last video we have already configured the mail driver to receive emails in the .env file here i have used the mail hog and you can use your choice of mail driver you just have to add the mail driver configuration right here now let's go to the browser and let's register a new account let's say name is john john at example.com password confirm password and registered here we are successfully registered now let's see the mail in the email of dot test and here we have received the email verification email but here we didn't see any feedback that you have to verify your email and we also want to protect this home page if user email is not verified then this home page should not be accessible so if we go to the http kernel and and here you can see we have a route middleware to ensure email is verified so we can use this verified middleware in the routes web.php we want to protect this home page so here we will add middleware in the array and we will specify the verified email right here in this middleware now go to browser and refresh now you will see that it has redacted to email verify route and but here we get error verify email view response so to fix this let's go to the documentation and here we are looking for email verification and in the service provider we need to add this verify email view to return this view so let's copy this and in the providers 45 service provider here we will add verify email view now let's create this blade file so in the resources views auth verify email dot blade dot php now i'm going to steal the markup from the laravel ui package so Let's open the Laravel UI package and we go to source auth bootstrap stubs and we go to auth and that is the verify stub. Let's copy all of these and paste that right here. Now go to browser and refresh this and we get the error route verify recent not defined. That error is right here this verification recent route is not available so instead of this route we need to use this verification dot send route so let's rename this to verification dot send now go back refresh and it's working now if i click here to resend our verification mail again now we have two mails now let's click this verify email address to verify email and now our email is verified now if we see the database in the users table uh, here is the john user and now in the email verified at column 
we have verified date time value let's try this one more time so log out and register jane jane at example.com password confirm password and register and we are registered and it immediately redirected to the email verify route and if we see the email hook here we have another email for jane at example.com email and in the database refresh we have another user jane and right now its email verified at column is empty and as we click this email verified address button now email is verified and this home page is accessible and in the database refresh now we have a date for this email verified at column now let's see its action how it is implemented so in the 45 create new user action behind the scene when user is registered laravel triggers a registered event let's see in the providers event service provider here is the registered event class and this registered event class is listening to send email verification listener and if we go to this listener and in this listener you can see it checks if user class is implementing the must verify email interface let's see the user model and here we have implemented the must verify email interface and then if user implement this interface then it is going to check if user email address is not verified then it is going to send email verification notification now if we see this function it is the it is the must verify email interface so to see its functionality let's navigate to user model and now let's see this authenticable class and this is the user class from the laravel framework and this class uses the must verify email trait and now in this trait here we have send email verification notification function and that's send the notification new verify email and that is this one here it is this is all in this lesson in the next lesson we will see two factor authentication using the laravel 45 package thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson